spins right, comes back left, Natty shoots, oh my goodness, Luis Natty! Here goes Daryl DK, at one horn, DK shoots, scores! DK wins it for an end round! What is going on, guys? Welcome to the Lions Blog Podcast. And today we have a fun new idea that I've been working on for a while um, that we're going to be doing from here on out, hopefully. And it is video. That's You can see me. You will see my co-host in a second. Um, but the idea is, is we're going to use this platform to um, create videos for you guys for certain things such as scouting, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Um, we're gonna be scouting our new signing, Cesar Araujo. Uh, looks very, very good. I'm very excited about him. I think our front office did an amazing job getting him and you will see why. And then uh, as the season goes on, we're gonna be rewatching games and talking about what we're seeing, what we like, what we aren't liking, what we need to improve on, stuff like that. So here with me today to discuss Cesar Araujo, new signing, is Adam. Uh, up, Adam, you are now able to be seen, so act oh. accordingly. <laughs> Only like half of you, to be fair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, I do drink when we do these. <laughs> yes, as every man should. I was out late last night and got very, very uh, wasted, to put it bluntly. Oh. So... Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I should be drinking water. I'm not even drinking that. But uh, you know, it's it's 1 p.m. on a Saturday. Like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Um, I can see you're donning the cappies. I've got on yes. our USL. I actually, funny story about this. I got this off of Twitter. Um, some guy was selling it for like 25 bucks, and I got this and another go and a goalkeeper jersey. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty so good that's, deal. That's a very good deal. I can't remember and who I it have, is. I would like to highlight Johnny Cash giving the finger in the background. Oh, uh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> my room That's my roommate's desk back there with all his stuff. Oh, really? Nice. <laughs> yep. I actually went to the Johnny Cash Museum thing in Nashville when I went to the game. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So, um, that's cool. I'd like to. Cash is awesome. Yeah. I didn't like go through it all. I just went to the mm -hmm. shop, but there's a lot of interesting stuff. So, on today's agenda is the player that we signed, Cesar Araujo. So let's go ahead and get his profile up. Um, this is his agency's webpage of him. Um, so obviously plays for Orlando City, love that. Um, skilled leg is ambidextrous. To me, he looks right-footed, so that's a little bit of a... Um, it's his agent talking, you know. Yeah, this is definitely agent talk, so take this all with a grain of salt. 1.82 meters. Um, that's five foot eleven. Uh, so he's probably like five foot ten, because <laughs> <laughs> you know agent talk. Um, mm -hmm. And then this is also uh, translated to English. So it says here central steering wheel. He's not a steering wheel. Um, <laughs> he is a soccer player, but central steering wheel with great physical display and excellent passing ability. His great technical quality and uncommon game reading for a player of his age make him a complete and totally different midfielder for the medium. <laughs> also, I'm still getting it over COVID, so I'm coughing. So I did test negative. I did not go out with a positive test. Um, I'm not that asshole. So, yeah. Um, he has a lot of personality and ancestry in teammates and rivals. Born retriever of balls and organizer of the defensive line from midfield. With a voice of command and leadership, he stands out as a player of great mentality and character. Excellent hit long and short with both legs and great capacity for collective play and setting up goal plays from his own field. So I think that has to do with his passing. He usually kicks from the medium and long distance, both on still balls and in motion with great effectiveness. Thanks to his exuberant physical dis display. <laughs> oh my lord. He is a player who steps on both areas frequently and is very aggressive and intense in his game. So that is his description from his agent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the YouTube video that I found of him. 
Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to watch the um, highlights through once without pausing, just watching. We'll talk about what we're seeing. And then we will go through again, pause, look at some um, moments that we like, some moments that we don't like. Um, Adam, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Um, so let's get this thing started. And can you hear any music? Yes, I can. I okay. can hear the highlights. Is it loud? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay. Guys, this is our first time doing this, so bear with us. So this is Caesar. Hello, Caesar. All right. Um, he can run. Yeah. <laughs> so I love this person. Right. Because uh, there's nobody near him. And then he just gets an assist for it. Um, I'm actually gonna I mean, it's good quiet. awareness to see the pass, you know. Yeah. Okay. And he's number five. So take that. So he's number five. He's on the ball. He's the one who just put the cross. Ooh, that's a... That's a good cross. <laughs> yeah. So um, nice little way to pass there. Yeah. Uh, put him through. But does he score? He does. He, he makes does the keeper. Good first touch there. Okay. Nice little cutback. Yeah. I'm seeing he has good vision so far. At least yeah. in these highlights. Mm -hmm. Tackle in midfield. Love that. Again. Another tackle in midfield. Another one. Without is, it, and it didn't look very violent too. It's not like he's like going. He's like trying to be accurate with the tackle. No, yeah. What we'll talk about um, is the way he goes in, which is kind of weird to me. So there he is winning an interception. It's very upright. Recovery. Yes, the way he runs is weird to me. I've never really seen it. He like arches his back, like you said, upright. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> winning a foul, ninety third yeah. minute. Very, very yeah. good. He was the one who did the back heel, I believe. That was nice. Yeah. yeah nice little. That was nice. Yeah, I, I'm seeing a lot of awareness from him. This is big mm -hmm. skill. Yeah. Um. He's look and for like 20 years old. He's gonna be 21 when the season starts. His birthday's in February. Yeah. But uh, I mean, that should be a goal, really. That should be an assist. Oh yeah, that should be a tap in. Yeah. So, but you know, he would do that to uh Carlos Rivas and it'd right. go into. Um, Lake Eola. That's a name <laughs> I haven't heard in 12 years. <laughs> yeah. So there he is, another tackle in midfield. Yeah. This is why I'm so excited because. And Sean Davis Carlos is what this oh, yeah. is, except he's American. Antonio and Carlos is gonna is gonna take him and be like, "Why don't you side tackle, bro? <laughs> Have you like just leave your feet a little bit? Just just go in and hurt them." <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was the one making the tackle. Yeah. Okay. I was like, well, him losing the ball, that's not great. <laughs> that's not a high light, that's a low light. A little bit of a rough pitch there. This dude's got that a cannon a of a foot. He does. Like, if you, when we go back and watch, I'll pause. He's um, got a Mendez foot. Yeah. He, um, he can hit the ball across the entire field. It's quite, it's pretty impressive. Honestly, yeah. Also, all these highlights, he's he's right-footed. Like, he can yeah, obviously 100%. use his left, but he's not two-footed. No. Like, when you think of... What a finish that is. When you think of two-footed Like, Nani's two-footed. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not Nani. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's not Nani. But he is like a, a young leader. Yeah, he, he looks You'll real see at good. The end, he's got um, he's got the captain's armband on. I don't think he was the captain, but there is a video footage of mm. him with and captain's armband on at yeah, some. That was, point that was a nice closeout on that tackle. Mm, yeah, you're right. Like, he, he could be he could be very useful in like a midfield press. Yes, I I think he's got good closing speed. That there too, that was very good closing speed. I think he will be a very good addition to our midfield. Hence, we spent two million dollars on him. Yeah. Wasn't his transfer market only like 500k? Was it? I think that was his value. Of course, you take transfer market with a giant mountain of salt, but yeah, another long shot. But honestly, stay. like in a like a Uruguayan camp call up, like he was named there. This kind of tape, here, I want to say months of a day. Yeah, he's got great stats. <laughs> Obviously, he's a one-year wonder so far. Um, <laughs> But I, well, <laughs> I would easily, easily, easily pay two mil for this guy. 
Oh, yeah. But he was named their player of the year, and Transfer Mark has him at 4,790 minutes or something like that as a 20 year old. Yeah. So, like, yeah, he's young, but Ooh, that's he's, good. he's experienced. So, there's the captain's armband bit right mm. there. Yeah. So, all right. So, there nice. we go. So, let's go ahead and actually, I'm going to pause. And then I'll edit this out, Adam. But I'm gonna get a drink mm-hmm. of water. <laughs> You're gonna edit, man. Water, that's some good stuff, isn't it? <sighs> oh shit! All right, all right. Okay, back in action. So, like you... I said, you're gonna edit. Yeah. I... Yeah, I will edit it. It's unprofessional. Can't have that. <laughs> How, why would I ever do something that's unprofessional? Okay. It never put out an unedited piece of material. <laughs> never. Who, who, would, who does who would, that? Who would think to do such a horrible thing? All right. So what was um, literally a split second for you guys was probably like two minutes for Adam as I went to go get some water. Oh, because water, um, my throat hurts basically. Um, so now that's your first introduction. No stopping. That's him. So and let's if y'all start to tell this is the Orlando city pint from last year's holiday pack. Mm. Um, shout out to Charlotte. Oh for yes. Getting us the, was it a holiday pack or was it yeah, like this year's holiday pack? pack? Yeah. Charlotte bought two of those for the Lions blog crew. And um, she is now our favorite. Uh, sorry to the rest of you. But, yeah. you know, the spot's open if you want to you, you know, compete wanna with Charlotte. <laughs> pay for our love. Um, right. You can do that. But, no, seriously, Charlotte, like, insane. Thank nice you so you. much. Yeah. So we um, really appreciate it. And. We're hoping to reciprocate in a, in a fun way for you. Uh, so be on the lookout for that, Charlotte. Um, but yeah, so that was Cesar Rajo. Welcome to Cesar Rajo. And now we're going to overanalyze this because that's what we do best as fans. Yep. Right? Overanalyze YouTube clips. So let's do that. So <sighs> Cesar Rajo, Volante. I don't know what that means. So this first clip where he's got like a million acres of space here first of all he's very upright isn't that so you weird? see okay see how the player like above him in the screen is kind of leaning forward as he runs mm-hmm. and araho's just like got this very very slight tilt it's very strange it's strange it's almost like uh you know how alex morgan's nickname used to be baby horse because of how she runs yes it's almost like that <laughs> Yeah, so there is something that I like about this clip um, right near the end where the, when they zoom in on him. Um, that so touch. right here. So right there. If you watch his right foot, he fakes to the left and then passes right. And that little bit... Oh, that is good. Like, that little bit gets him the space to make the pass, which I really liked um, about that clip in general. Because it's not, you know, it's not... That's not... Easy. I also I like that. that touch right there, the one before they zoom in, because he ta- he realizes oh, he has yeah. the space and he takes a big touch, Boom. and he, he's yep. trying to eat up that space and progress the ball, which is something we've seen other young South American midfielders not do, hmm. <laughs> that, that we paid about $2 million for. Who? I uh, wouldn't know who that was. No, this is a, this is a highlight video. We're not we're, just, we're not talking shit about anyone. <laughs> Fair enough. Good way to pass there. I like that. Yeah. That's really good. That's very good. <laughs> easy, easy finish. Um, the thing I like about this that, is his first touch. Brings that down. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to highlight. That, like straight straight down on his foot, and very then he controlled. can make the pass. Yeah. So, this can is we, a theme. Can we slow gonna, that down? This is a theme we're going to see. He goes into his tackles with both of his feet sometimes. He Boom. does. And he, he almost just kind of like tries to stand in the way of where the ball is going to be. Yeah, just did it right there, there again. too. Isn't that weird? 
I don't know. If, <laughs> I mean, if it continues working fine, I don't know how much that translates to a different league or or just different style of play. That's my worry. That <laughs> that's been my worry too, because it, it's it's very strange the way he just. Whoop, and then yeah, it's like he has to get his entire body. He can't like stick it a foot out where the ball is, you know. And something somebody highlighted was um that he has a lot of cards and i wonder if the way he goes into challenges gets him cards that might because be if, if he misses that he's two-footed into somebody technically yeah he's not out of control two-footed so he'll get a yellow not a red hmm. but um it's yeah, just that, very or, strange. or he'll just like completely take them out and that might be like a, a stoppage of play yellow card yeah yeah so this pass i mean <laughs> this is ridiculous. look at that <laughs> there's no fade on that pass whatsoever <laughs> He struck that clean. Cool. That's an MLS assist right there, too. Oh, yeah. So, you know, got to gotta get those numbers. Those are late. the passes that, you know, get the ball quickly to another player with a different angle attacking the defense that we've been sorely, sorely lacking. Because the, the reason you move the ball, you don't move the ball just to move the ball. Clearly, we've seen moving the ball just to move the ball doesn't work, right? But right. you move the ball quickly over long distance like that, and if you can do it accurately, like you saw that pass go, you didn't, or I guess, I'm going to do it at the camera like that. You didn't see it fade one way or another. Like, like if you put a lot of spin on the ball, the ball's going to fade one way. You didn't see it. It went very straight. Like, straight. That. there you go. Like an arrow. You're right. Right to his target. That is an extremely useful pass because you, he beat like two or three lines of defense there and he allowed his teammate to have a different angle on a, def a defense that was not set up to defend from that area, which allowed him to get the, a pretty easy assist there. Yeah. That's how that's how you use ball movement to create chances, not just you know passing one guy to another to another to another. It takes you three passes to get across the field. Because when you do that, it, obviously that takes time, but it, mm -hmm. it also um that that time that it takes allows the defense to set up. Exactly. Now imagine that ball over the top to someone like a hopefully Facundo Torres. That would be I very mean, very nice. <laughs> crossing be extremely nice. Pecho Akindele. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's also good. He would compliment Mendez very well because Mendez is the guy that's going to do all the short area stuff. He'll do, he'll do those little combo plays and he'll try to run up the middle. And then Araujo can kind of hang back a little bit. And if the ball falls to him, maybe put it out wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very exciting there. So love that. Here he is. And this next clip is interesting because he ends up in a wide right area. Um, and he puts in a pretty... Yeah. No, no, he doesn't put in a cross. He gets, no, he fouled, gets fouled in the ninety third minute, which is smart. That's good. That's like high. He's, good. he's going IQ. to the he's going to the corner. But he does end up on like this right side a bit. Um, sometimes he seems to be able nice. to put in a, a good cross. I like the little flare there with the back heel. Yeah, I mean he's got a trick up his sleeve. He's not just a like like. This is the one where he's wide right. Player. Yeah, and then that should be that should be an assist. Really, he does everything right there. But um. He that picks his target. I mean, it, it's easy, pass. but yeah. Perfect. And he's looking at his target. Yeah, like something somebody else doesn't do. But again, we're going to talk mm. about Caesar. Nobody else on the team. And this is a this is a a, a box to box <laughs> central midfielder right, looking at his target on the on the cross. Yeah. So he has that ability to be like a right eight if we wanted to do a four three mm -hmm. three. But <clears throat> since we we do the double pivot, um, I don't think that's what's going to happen. This, <clears throat> sorry guys, really sorry. This next clip, we we can't just miss this. So watch this. This is him getting the ball, getting pressured. Uh, that striker kind of looked like Tesho. I'm <laughs> <laughs> talking about other players here. Um, <laughs> Big guy, bald head. <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Um, I can't. It, you're not. I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So gets the ball, turns out of pressure, progressive pass. Boom. Oh. Oh, it was beautiful. It's not a hard... Breaks, uh, beats three defenders with that pass. Yeah, it's not... If you it, like, As we watch this, this is not difficult. This pass isn't difficult. No one goes to cut off the passing lane. Like, the player's in acres of space. But just the ability and desire to get the ball forward is what I like. And he fizzes it in. If you look at the weight of pass, fizzes it in. Boom. On the player's right foot. I mean, it's a perfect pass. Hence, it's in the highlight video. Mm -hmm. um, there's his cannon of a foot. 
right in front. That Drops covers in the bucket. such a large distance. That's out. Under pressure. Boom. And he does that off his back foot. Like, he's not balanced there. No. He's leaning back as he hits that. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've, our front office has pulled off a very good signing. Um, hopefully, he's here for a couple years. Because um, if he continues at this rate, like we've got something good on our hands. Probably something a little too good. One thing I wanted to point out here is wins this ball forward instantly there you go looking to go forward Same that was here. nice he didn't he didn't do his little two foot thing there <laughs> no he didn't and this one he pokes in to win the ball um but instant thought forward every time wins no, the ball, that one is better forward. and then there's one in here where he wants to go forward after winning the ball but doesn't quite he's not able to because he gets put under pressure that's a long shot like Again, cannon of a right foot. He's On got target. Some good shot power. Here he, here he is again, making that third man run. And this is something I like um, about him, being able to make runs from deep in midfield. But Urso sometimes does that um, and does it to decent effect. Mm -hmm. um, so having this in your rep, in your resume is pretty exciting. This guy, this guy makes me think that they did an honest analysis of Junior Urso and said, hey, Junior's still got skills. He can still be a useful player. He can't play every single match. And you know what's funny about that? I'm glad you bring that up. That's exactly what you and I talked about on the episode mm -hmm. on Christmas Eve. We said thought, yeah. Urso is fine to stay in the squad. He doesn't need to mm -hmm. be sold. He doesn't, like, there's nothing wrong with him. But we need an upgrade at right center mid. It's clear. And, and a rotation and piece. Not even necessarily an upgrade, but a guy who can play the same role. Because I, I think Urso's level is fine. Urso, Urso wasn't playing defense at the end of the year because he was tired and because he yeah. physically couldn't run that much anymore. If we keep Urso fresh, he's going to play defense for like the, the 15 games he plays. You know, if we can get Urso for 15 and this guy for like 25. And that's just perfect. starting because they yeah. will share games. He'll, he'll oh, be subbed out. Um, he is with the national team. I don't know if he goes to World Cup qualifiers. I don't think he does. He's, like, he's 20. I think he's getting the camp call up to get him like familiarized like with coaching when, um, staff and stuff. Brooks Lennon gets called up to mm -hmm. camp. or like He's a good right back, but he's not going to yeah. go in up above the other options for U.S. Men's National Team. So I think that's what's going on with him. So mm. I think we're going to have him for the most of the season unless he like insanely breaks out for us, which I'd be fine with. <laughs> yeah. If he's good enough to get called up to the national team, then like, yeah, so be it, man, so be it. So let's see what this highlight is. I think that's We're him making the pass. I can't really tell. Uh, it definitely seems in his skill set. Again, yeah, that was, that was a very, it was a powerful pass, no fade, straight up the line. Yeah. Maybe this is the one where he wins. The no, I don't even know what that was. To be fair, wins the ball back there. Goes forward. Yep. Now this is interesting. This one right here. Look at his positioning. He's in a right center back space in a, a build up. They were probably building up in a three two five or mm -hmm. whatever. But again, that unlocks He's so got many. Got a cannon of a right foot. Yeah. I mean, wins the ball back there. Straight you forward. Goes forward. Here he is pressing. Wins it. Keeps it back. He probably gave it to a teammate. Like, yeah, but he's already in the final third there. Yeah, there's the cannon. Oh, I love that. On and right dying. to that. what accuracy he has. Yeah, forward wins the ball. Forward mm. progressing. It's, it's just great. Wins the ball in midfield. That was a nice looks little to go forward. This is the one I was talking about. Yeah, wins it in midfield. Looks to go forward. Yeah, Camp. but that midfielder is like really quick to pressure him. Yeah. Still trying to go forward. It's great. It, it's really great. Cannon of a right. Oh, I mean, he's a guy on. that and, and Preha likes to counter. He's a guy you want in a counterattacking system because mm -hmm. he can spring that. He can be the guy to spring counter. So let's finish this video off here. Wins the ball midfield forward. I'm just going to keep saying it because it, it just makes me so happy. Like, this dude has. The, the tools that we need to be really dangerous in midfield. Here he is in the, like the he right. Stays on side. Yep. Nearly an assist there. 
tackle midfield, turn forward. It's like a, and I like you know, that you, tackle. You don't usually think like shiny new toy for two million, but like, damn. Oh no, this is this is shiny new toy. Yeah, and we'll we'll talk about it when we finish. Um, like we're we're not just gonna end it with the video. We're gonna have a, a quick little discussion about it. But like this right here, posts him up, doesn't fly into the tackle, toe pokes it away, and then gets taken out. Yellow card. Should be a yellow card. Um, yeah, ref went over and reached in his back pocket. That's a yellow. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. That's he has that so right there. Good. good awareness to close his legs. He realizes that the nutmeg's open. He just puts a knee down. Yep. Gets an interception. That was my it. only thought. With you remember how we were looking at the way he like goes into tackles. Mm -hmm. um, he could get magged. Yeah, he won't get magged. That was my that was my first thought. This right here, captain's armband. 20 years old. I mean, it was probably the captain got subbed off and someone just went and threw it on him. But like, mm. I like that. Oh, I mean, you no. don't, you don't, no, 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 you no. don't. Hold on. That's the second minute of a game. Oh, shit. I wow. mean, maybe the captain was hurt. No, yeah. I don't think he's club captain, but yeah. That's again, and if he, if he's the backup captain. I, I just like that mentality in general. Like, yeah, every team needs a captain, mm -hmm. and some someone has to do it. But this kid, twenty years old, wearing the captain's arm, man. Torneo Clausura, twenty twenty one, match eleven. I mean, mm -hmm. I like that. So that's a league match. So that's uh, Cesar. Good um. Player. So, what do you see? What do you see in him, in terms of uh, rotation in the midfield? Do you think he's starting? I think I would like to see him at the at the very least split time with Urso. I, from what we know about Oscar Pereja, he's going to want Junior Urso to be the starter there because he's the veteran. He's the guy that's been there for a couple of years. He knows he can trust him to know the system and everything. He's a leader on the team. Like Urso is probably going to be his uh, Pereja's preferred choice. But man, does this kid look good? <laughs> so yeah, obviously we haven't seen his negatives, and yeah. we can maybe like assume some in terms of the way he goes into tackles. He's got he a lot probably of gets cards. beat sometimes on on going into tackles. Probably. Um, we don't really know his defensive positioning. Uh, one thing I did notice is in some of the highlights, he does have to like track back to get to the ball. So mm -hmm. it makes you wonder about his defensive positioning. Is that going to be an issue? Well, it's be, a trade off because you know. he clearly gets forward. Yeah. So he's going to have to work to get back. But we also did see that closeout speed. So he's, he to me, he's going to be kind of that in that Juan mold where he will get forward, he will be out of position, but he will track back. And the thing that's. The thing that I really like is, I think you're right. I think Urso definitely starts the season as the starter. Mm -hmm. I think Pereja will want to go with experience there. He doesn't want Mendez, who's 25. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Now, in what, April. I, what I would <laughs> like to see is um, is him immediately beat out Andres Pereja. He should. He should. He absolutely should. I think like, just off of that, he looks like a better player. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Yeah, I, I, I think... Um, yeah, Because he, he's doing things in that clip that Prey just can't do. Or refuses to do for whatever reason. I think one thing that I, I actually forgot to point out during the video that I wanted to is he takes a lot of steps in short spaces. And so he... It, as someone goes to win the ball off of him, he like can cut it away. So... If you want to go rewatch the mm -hmm. first half of this video, and you'll see he takes a lot of short steps. I mean, short you kind of highlighted in that, strides. In that first little long clip. Kind of highlighted yeah. that in the first little clip where he he faked that pass one way and then he did it the other way, and he can only do that because he was moving his feet quickly. Yeah, and th that's the difference with Preya for me. I think sometimes Preya takes really long strides, mm -hmm. and the time it takes for your foot to get to the ball is that those extra split seconds is the difference between mm -hmm. getting a pass off, losing the ball in midfield, turnover, goal. 
you know, and so yes, I think Araujo will be ahead of Perea, which I don't have a problem with. Um, I think it creates competition. The thing I like about this is, yes, maybe Urso starting. This dude can come in and close out matches. Mm -hmm. We have a closer. And we have a player who's clearly capable of starting. I think he will start a lot of games this season. With Mendez out, it can be an Urso and Araujo midfield. I don't mm -hmm. think that will be as scary a sight as maybe like a, a Yuri in Urso midfield. Or um, Desart <laughs> or Perea or I'm fine. I'm a, I'm fine with Perea playing. I just don't want him to be the third option. This dude raises our a podcast that I listen to. Um the way they one of the hosts describes stuff is your team's ceiling and your team's mm -hmm. floor. And I think he raises the floor for a lot of matches because he adds a third, very good, very competent option in that double pivot role um, to rotate with or so. So I'm I'm extremely happy with this signing. Um, I I think him and Mendez will be our starters coming into the season. At least coming out of it. Come. What do you mean? You said you said coming into the season. Oh, coming yeah, go going out of the season. Going uh, into I would the say end hopefully, of the season. hopefully, second half of the season, he's pretty entrenched. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, and, and we've seen that with newcomers like DK didn't really get going until the second half of his rookie season, and then lo and behold, rookie of the year. Yeah. Well, yeah, MLS is back. He played like once, mm -hmm. and then he started because of all the injuries, and then he played once, and he wasn't even that like, good. We, we said we said okay we see the talent but but he's still pretty raw yeah. and then he comes in in late league on fire nine and a half million 20 percent sell on five million yep. in add-ons later <laughs> so all right so that was adam's first time viewing it i've seen the video like five times i'm like obsessed with the kid already um <laughs> so what are your final thoughts on it before we get out of here uh, I like it. Like the biggest thing is, yeah, he's a ball winner and he progresses the ball, which are two things. Th those are my two traits that I look for in a midfielder. The third is ball movement, which obviously he can do. He's a he's a little ball dominant. I don't mind that though because he's always trying to progress it. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I obviously the perfect midfielder is a guy like Iniesta who has all those traits and is super quick on ball movement. You're not going to get that in MLS. <laughs> But um, no, as far as, you know, a prospect goes, because that's what he is at this point, you, you can't really ask for much better, especially for the price. No, yeah. And under 22 initiative. Mm -hmm. um, I mean. So he doesn't even really count against the salary cap. They don't? Or they're just really cheap against it? Right? Really cheap. It's, yeah. it's negligible. Yeah. So exciting. I really like the transfer. Like, yeah. this is a great start to the business this off season. Um, we're going to have another one of these for hopefully Facundo Torres. Hopefully that, that would be good. All signs are pointing in the right direction. Mm -hmm. It looks like the Penero Penero board have given the green light. We're just waiting on a couple things like um, official yeah, signings, yeah. Uh, signing of co the contracts. Then he has to do a, a medical, which is kind of hard to do when you have COVID she tested mm. positive for. So we so probably like, won't see an official announcement until next week. At the earliest, I think. But um, we might, maybe we get an official, we have agreed everything pending a medical. Yeah. So we might get that. But um, I think we might see a fab announcement pretty soon. You think fab put something out on that? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we know he's following MLS now. Yeah, seriously. All or may, maybe not Fab, but like one of those insider guys. I feel like, like one of the big media guys might put something out when it's done, done. You know, pending the medical. Yeah. So everything's trending in the correct direction for Orlando City. Um, yeah. So this is the idea here. We're gonna do the same thing for any other transfers that happen this off season. And again, going into next season, um, we're gonna plan on rewatching games. And um, looking at looking at all the tactics and all the analysis and who did what wrong and who did what right and why Kyle Smith is a better right back than Juan. You're never gonna let that go. Never ever. 
ever. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the idea is to put this out on YouTube. If it does get copyright striked, which I don't think it will, um, I'm going to put it up on the website. And then I will let you guys know because I can't get copyright striked on linesblog.org. Oh, cool. So, hmm. yeah. All right, Adam, thank you for your time. I hope you guys enjoyed. And vamos, Orlando. Vamos. Biggest man in MLS comes up here!